Kelly here. I'm currently in Aquaba Foods Kitchen, and this is the pretty Auntie MFA. The popular, you guys have seen her on my channel already. If you haven't seen her, this is the beautiful face behind Aquaba Foods. And today I'm in her kitchen. She's going to tell us what we are going to be doing here. So, Auntie MFA, over to you. Thank you, Stella, for coming all the way to Saskatchewan, <laughs> Regina. <laughs> To the Aquaba Kitchen. I'm so excited that you're here today. Oh, it's gonna be exciting. It's food. They all know yeah. I love food. Oh wow! <laughs> so today is gonna be like, um, yeah, just prepare something, have a chit chat. Yes. Yeah, food brings so much joy to me. So. So Aquaba Food is also one of the sponsors for Black Sellers, which I've already shared in my previous video. If you haven't watched it, you need to go back, watch yeah. it, and come and watch this video. So we yeah. are going to be cooking something special today and she's going to tell us uh, more about aquaba food uh, and everything we need to know about Ghanaian food made in Canada so I hope you enjoy watching the video yeah, so Stella let's get cooking we're going to start yeah we need our aprons to start getting into the uh, to the groove and then yes. yeah and the so tell us what are we cooking today today you know what because of uh, because Aquaba, Aquaba is the uh, home of the shito, right? Okay. The Aquaba spice shito. Okay. So I just wanted us to make something we can pair it with the shito, you know? Mm -hmm. Something that is very Ghanaian. Okay. So I'm going to make something. I'm going to bake kinky actually. Okay. I'm going to make the Ghana kinky. So I have my corn husk here and I have the corn dough. So we are going to make it from scratch. From scratch. Okay. Yeah, and I have some fresh tilapia. Yeah, some fresh tilapia here and some prawns and then we have our other ingredients. Other ingredients. So, yeah. um, Auntie Mifa is going to be cooking kinky with all of us, but you are going to eat it with us and she's going to tell us a bit about aquaba foods. Mm -hmm. So, I hope you're excited just like I am. I'm very excited. <laughs> I'm so excited already. So I'm so excited too that you're here. So Stella, I'm not just going to do the cooking by myself. Yeah, You'll be my go. kitchen assistant today. Yes. So let's uh, start rolling. Yeah. So hand washing is a good thing for the kitchen. Yes. Yeah. Stella, how was your 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 journey um, to Toronto? Yeah, to, to Toronto. Toronto. For her, for experience. I'm sure they've already seen the video so far. I know all my viewers watching have already seen the video. I had a good time. I really had, had a good time. There. Yeah. I went to Niagara Falls, which is one of the popular uh, places to see. And Canada is beautiful though. Thank Canada you. is really, really beautiful. And thanks for the opportunity. So. Yeah. yeah. And I, you know what? It's, it's so funny that, um, so, I mean, I'm, I'm do, doing, doing the cooking. So with the Kenke, yeah. Normally, KK is uh, the uh, Ghana KK. You have to do it uh, into uh, half of half of the portion. Okay. So I have I, I put it into half, right? Okay. So I'm going to cook mm -hmm. cook the other half. Yeah. This is the half. So and the half that I'm going to cook, mm -hmm. and this is the half the uncooked one that I'm going to mess with. Okay. So because that's how you have to do it. So what are the ingredients? This is just corn dough. Okay. Yeah. This is just corn dough that um, you mix, but it has to ferment. Okay. Yeah, it has to ferment. So I fermented it for about a week mm. so that it ha it's, it's nicely fermented. Okay. So how do you get all your ingredients, knowing that all the ingredients are Ghanaian yeah. known ingredients? Okay, it's good that you ask. Some of them, I bring them from Ghana. Okay. Yeah, for even for, for the corn husk, mm. I brought it all the way from Ghana. And uh, most of the spices that I use for my aquaba shito sauce, I bring all of them from Ghana. Uh, the uh, the the fresh, the smoked fish, the smoked shrimp, the Ghanaian spices. I always okay. bring them. And some of them that I can get here, I used, I, I I buy them from here and use them. So like onions, garlic, and and um, like things like onion, garlic ginger you can you can source them from here okay yeah so if you watch my previous video you will know that aquaba food has a special shito she sells here in canada and even the other races enjoy her shito so 
I'm very excited. Yeah. I can't wait to try her specially made shito. And the good part is she also has um vegan shito. I'm like in Ghana, you won't find anything like vegan shito. But here a cover food foot um, has it. So I can't wait to try her kinky with um the vegan no, not the vegan. The special yeah, we'll, we'll cover go, shito. Yeah, we'll go like the original shito here. Yeah? Mm. yeah, and and you know you're talking about vegan. It's so funny that a lot of people have asked me how come I have a, a vegan um, a, a shito. It's like I didn't I didn't make the vegan for just those who are vegan okay. because there are people who are vegan. Vegan has become something very common now. Okay. One I think is because some people it's because of allergy. Mm -hmm. Some people too they are vegan okay. or vegetarian. Mm -hmm. And one thing is that if you are vegan. If you're vegetarian, you can eat vegan food. But if you're vegan, you cannot eat vegetarian food. Oh. Not all vegans can... Not, not all... All vegans cannot eat vegetarian food. But okay. vegetarians can eat vegan food. Because a typical vegetarian is somebody who can even eat egg. Okay. But a vegan will never eat egg. Only plant-based uh, Only plant-based. Okay. So I made that because... One, for those who are vegan... And those who are allergic to something like uh, shellfish, okay. because shrimp is shellfish, mm. which is uh, which is a common uh, a common spice we use in Ghana, like um, the dried one. Yeah, the dried. Yeah, so that's why I came up with it because when I did my food safety course mm. here, I I realized that a lot of people are allergic to so many things that you know back home it's not even common, mm -hmm. and even back home it might be common, but we don't even know. You know, because we are used to eating shrimp, dry shrimp, it's all into our uh, food. So, even if you're allergic to it, you know, some people don't know. Mm. So, yeah. And, and, and the vegan shita has become a hit, actually. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. yeah. So, now we're done with the... Banku. Yeah, so we do. Yeah, it's just like a cooking banku. Yeah, cooking banku. So half cooked banku, and then you mix it with the uncooked one, right? Okay, let me. Yeah. So I'm I'm going to bring out the. I have my. Oh. Oh, nice. You already have that. It's okay. Okay, yeah, so now we are going to mix our, our kinky. Yeah. Normally, it's good to mix it with your hand, but because this thing is hot. I have to use the... I'll use this for now. Mm. And I remember recently when I was in Ghana, there's this kinky factory, yeah, I went to in, um, it, it was just behind Oxford Street. Okay. Yeah, oh my God, their kinky is so good. And I saw these ladies, it's like a whole kinky factory, so it's huge. Auntie, way, so what, what kind of dishes do you do here in Canada? Oh, my, with my specialty with Aquaba is, um, I make jollof. Okay. And I make... Watch okay. and the red red. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so my I have jollof boxes that I make. So I would say that Aquaba, Aquaba Kitchen is the home of the jollof box. So I make jollof, wache, and the red red. I keep it simple. Yeah. yeah. All together goes with the yes. The popular spice. Yeah. Aquaba spice. Exactly. Yeah. We've mixed the uncooked and the cooked. Um condo and then we are going to be so oh, Stella if you don't have the corn husk kinky is not kinky so you need this from Ghana yeah so I mean when you go to the African stores here yeah. they sell it mm. they sell it too but you know what because I was in Ghana I think I will need a smaller one here okay yeah I don't want to waste it so this this will be a good size right because I was in Ghana it was convenient for me to buy it. yeah but if you live in a 
a city where they have like a Ghanaian store mm -hmm. or an African store, yeah, you, ha you, you, you can buy it there. So you just put it together, roll it, roll it and then make it like a hole, a small hole. <laughs> a small hole on the side here, yeah. and then just tuck it in. Lovely. Lovely. And then you, you just roll it. Yeah, you see? Yeah. Okay, okay, it's on the move. Yeah, so we are done so with the kinky. the husking, the kinky husking. That's what I'm calling it. Yeah. So we're done with it. So we are now going to cook the kinky. Okay. And traditionally in Ghana, you know how they cook the kinky. In a big pot. In a big pot. Yeah. Now we are you know, in Ghana. And I love gadgets. Like I, I really love Invest in them. investing in good uh, kitchen gadgets. Mm. So one of the things that I'm going to use to make my kinky, and I, that's what I use to make my kinky, is instant pot. Oh, okay. So what about somebody who doesn't have an instant pot? Yeah, then you just cook it normal. In but it course. takes long oh. yeah when i when i uh before i bought the instant pot or i had the in instant pot i used to cook it on the stove top and it takes hours you know but then i got the instant pot so i, I normally cook it under pressure cook okay and within one hour my kinky is done it's ready it's ready so i'm going to put i'm going to just uh arrange the kinky in the instant pot yeah before I put the water in. So I'm just arranging everything. Yeah. Yeah. And then you see that I've wrapped the kinky because it's going to be pressure cooked. I've wrapped the kinky in clean film. So this is good for food. This is not just ordinary plastic. It's, it's um, something that we use for cooking. So I'm going to put the water in. And normally I don't, because it's pressure cook, I just do the water in half. So I don't cover the whole thing. And then... Ready to cook? So this is, I'm just going to make a small, like a, some sauce for the fish. So normally when, I, when I'm making this type of sauce, I just use bell peppers, uh, red, the mixture of bell peppers, but today I'm just using red bell peppers. I like the red bell peppers, so I'm using red bell peppers, ginger, garlic, onion, and um, just with some olive oil, and just fry it and then put it on the fish. Yeah, and it goes really nice with the fish and the kinky. I brought us some white wine. <laughs> Goes with the uh, fish. With fish. So we're gonna have some white wine with the fish later on. Our fish is still cooking. <laughs> what is your take? Uh, I mean, about Canada. I mean. Oh, guys, you know, I'm sure they all watch my YouTube videos. Canada is beautiful. Canada is is different. It's different from the places I have been to. Mm. It's and this, is your, this is your first time in North America, right? It's my first time in North okay. America, so it's a different feel. I got to I got to experience fall, which some some of you in other parts of the world call autumn. Yes, so yeah. so different seasoning. Mm -hmm. It was my first time hearing of the canola plant, so yeah. I saw a canola plant. And apparently it's grown here in yes, Saskatchewan. In Saskatchewan yes. So oh, it was beautiful to see. I'll come back again in summer yeah. so that we can go through how the canola fields, fields and yeah. then how they are planted, yeah. the nutritional benefits of canola. Yeah. Yeah. So yeah. And canola is um it, it's that's what they use for the canola oil, oh, yeah. right? Okay. Yeah, so canola yeah. oil is very good. Most Canadians here use canola oil, canola oil. for cooking. Yeah. Okay. Mm -hmm. I think I think in Ghana like this, we use more of vegetable oil. Yes, yes, yes. 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 It, to be honest with you, if I hadn't it's so funny, if I hadn't come to Canada I wouldn't I I didn't even really know about the canola, canola. oil. Yeah, it was my yeah. first time actually yeah. hearing yeah. the yeah. word the plant canola, I'm like, yeah, hey, okay, yeah. what is it? I have to Google it to find. Yeah. Because I lived in Europe, it. it's all about um, 
um, vegetable oil. oil. Yeah, so we used, I mean, back in Europe, it's more so. vegetable oil than canola oil. So, yeah. yeah. And tell us about um, Akwaba food. What does Akwaba food got to do with black silence? Okay. Yeah. So I'm, I'm the CEO of Akwaba food. I started okay. Akwaba food in 2019. Alright. And it, it was all about, uh, I mean, showcasing my culture th through food. Okay. Yeah, so that's how I came about with Akwaba food and with uh, mainly the shito. Because shito, because shito is mainly a Ghanaian sauce. I found, I, 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 to me, I, 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 we eat, I mean, most Ghanaians eat shito. shito. And I would say that every Ghanaian eats Has shito. eaten shito, shito before. One way or the other. Yes, yeah, so <laughs> shito is so unique to Ghana. So mm. what I did was, I, I use shito every day, or mm. I eat shito every day. So some of my friends who are non Ghanaians will come to my house and we'll, I'll make a meal and then we'll, we'll, we'll do the add the shito and they started like oh wow this is really nice this is something i would eat would you be selling it so that's how the idea even came for me to start making the shito business yeah business because people were just before i would just they would just tell me how much they or how many how much they love the shito how many they would need they would need and i'll make it for them so I said, oh, I'll go into it and then... Is there a lucrative business here, especially because of your location? Mm -hmm. Is it a good business? Yes, it is, because you know what? what with me, my, my clientele wasn't just the Ghanaians. Okay. Because what I, what I realized was that every Ghanaian knows Shito, or mm -hmm. most Ghanaian know Shito. So what about those who are not Ghanaians? Mm -hmm. I realized that even some of the Nigerians don't know Shito. And Nigerian who know Shito might be connected to a Ghanaian. One that other. one way or the other, that's how they would know Shito, right? Mm -hmm. And then I realized that the Caucasians didn't know about Shito, and I live in Saskatchewan, you know? Mm -hmm. Saskatchewan doesn't have sea, we just have lakes, mm -hmm. you know? So I, my thing was that how can I bring this sauce to, to non Ghanaians, or even non African, to, to the Canadian who would want to try it? So that's how I, mm -hmm. I came about my branding and how to make it in such a way that they will love it. Okay. Yeah. I also witnessed, um, she took me to her office at the time she had um, an order and then she saw the jollof. So I, I was helping her. So. And then I witnessed this man who is not Ghanaian. If you see the way the man was enjoying the jollof and the shito, I was like, hey, would he complain of the the hotness, yeah. then she told me, oh, she does a mixture of both the mild and then and the, hot. the hot. I was yeah. like, oh, wow. Yeah. So what I do is with my jollof, my jollof is not spicy. Mm -hmm. Yeah, my jollof is not spicy. And uh, what I do with it, with it too is that because I add a bit of shito to my meals, my shito comes into in like a small uh, container in the meal. So. If, if you're somebody who likes spicy stuff, you just add the shito to it. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. So I try to make it in such a way that everybody is able it's to eat, eat, eat my meals. Yeah. So I'm the CEO of Aquaba Foods and I'm the founder of the Black Excellence Gala. So what I realized was that there were so many black people in Saskatchewan mm -hmm. that do so much. So my idea was that we are going to celebrate ourselves as black people and then give back into the community that has accepted us here mm -hmm. and then showcase who we are. Kinky, our fish, our prawns, our pear, our avocado. I don't know why Ghanaians call it pear. You leave us alone, we call it pear. No, we call it's it not pear. pear, it's avocado. avocado. It is avocado, <laughs> not pear. Okay. Anyway, whatever, we are still going to eat it. Yeah. So, this is, and then our pepper sauce, and our famous aquaba spice shito, shito sauce. This is how the yeah. packaging looks like. Yeah. yeah. So, 
Thank you, Stella, for visiting Thank my Aquaba kitchen. I would always come to Saskatchewan because of her famous oh. cooking since I came. Hey, on Jolo, watch it, Jolo, watch it, Fufu, beans. If you are my Instagram story, you can tell. Guys, I've been enjoying myself. You know, yeah. Stella, let me tell you something. Uh -huh. Aquaba cooks with love. Oh. Aquaba cooks with a lot of love. All right. Yeah. So, mm -hmm. so if you're in Saskatchewan, anytime you're in Regina, Saskatchewan, please Regina, call please. MFA from Hook. the Aquaba Foods. Hook me up and uh, you'll be fine. You'll be sorted. Sorted. Yeah, you can find Aquaba Foods on Instagram, Aquaba Foods, Facebook, Aquaba Foods. And then on our website, aquabaspice.com. Aquabaspice.com. So mm. this thing, uh, this fish is calling me. Mm. Enough of the talking. Let me tuck into my fish. You're all invited. Look at how see. the kinky. Mm. So mm. good. Mm. Mm. Because the kinky is soft and mm. nice. Mm. I'll see you in my next video. Thank you so much for watching. Patronize and see me for my quabble mm. food. Mm. I don't want to talk too much. Yummy. Bye. You say we love you. We love you. We'll be back again, Charlie. <laughs>